anyway, uh, all the victims are dead, except for the final one. Hmm. Where are they? I'm pretty sure they ran here. Seems like the sort of thing they do. Oh, it's true, they ain't. <laughs> if you're in here, you can come out. You're the last one now. And it's about time we got this over with. <sighs> well, well, didn't think that was going to work. I mean, has it ever? <laughs> Guess the third act's gonna drag a bit. Hmm. If I was a dumb party girl who just watched all their friends get brutally murdered, where would I hide? Downstairs doesn't really seem likely. It's the best place someone could choose. So many places to go. Dims always love hiding upstairs for some reason. It's like they get paid to run up there, even though their options become a lot more limited. Maybe they're here? Nope. Nope, they're not there. Um, yeah, there's no way they're down here. Upstairs it is. Mm. Did I? Oh yeah, there's the body. Definitely came in here earlier. God, what a kill. Running them through with an ironing board. Genius, if I do say myself. <laughs> I wonder if the final victim saw it. I guess they must have done if they came up here. Not exactly subtle. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't traumatize them too much. That's about as fine, but I draw the line at PTSD. Now, where are they? Oh, hang on. That closet door was open earlier. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> calm down, calm down. There's no need for that. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> I can see why you think that, given how I brutally killed all your friends, but really, you're safe now. Really, just calm down. Just really, just calm down. Calm down. Hey. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you want it. I'll let you go once you calm down. How about that? Just because I'm nice doesn't mean I'm going to let you stab my eyes out. <sighs> Alright, feeling calm? Great. So, like I said, I'm letting you go. First things first, though. Congratulations! You're the last survivor! I really should create, like, uh, a medal or something to give people. A nice little memento for their experience. Hmm. Aww. You're confused. Don't worry, sweetie. It's all over now. I've reached my quota for the day, and I'm done. We'll tuck it out. <laughs> you see, there's kind of a requirement that we slashers have to kill a certain number of people during our outings. It's a... Pretty strict rule. There's tons of different rules and objectives and things for a slasher, but the main one? There's gotta be blood. <laughs> Don't ask me who writes them. You wouldn't believe me. Uh, you see, with each subsequent outing we have, the body count's gotta get bigger and bigger. I've been doing this for a while now, so my killing spree back there, it's in its twenties. I've killed people you haven't even seen. Real busy evening. But in your case, it's optional for the final survivor to, well, survive. Usually there's a fight between us and you end up killing me, or at least injuring me enough so you think you've killed me. But, like I said, I've been doing this for a while now, and I'm frankly not in the mood. I've had my fun, and I want to go rest until I get called back next year. Still confused. Oh, it's adorable. You're free to go. Go limp off into the woods and find a nearby police officer. Get taken to safety. I don't know, write a book about your experience or something. Whatever it is you people do. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, wait. Actually, before you go, I do have notes. Yeah, I keep I keep notes on all the people I hunt just in case I run into them again. Uh never know if they're gonna pop up in a sequel. 
uh, first things first. You decided to hide with this knife and wait for me to find you. Now, if you were fighting a normal one-off human serial killer, not a bad strategy. This bad boy would definitely do some damage. If this were my first couple outings, it probably would have worked. You would have killed me. However, as you can probably tell by my rotting body, I'm not normal. I've been through a fair bit in my time, let me tell you. And this knife? It's not even gonna hurt. Why not even draw blood? Stupid strategy, is what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> no offense. What you really want to do against someone like me is just run. It's really the only thing you can do. On top of that, you close the closet door. Now, any good slasher with a soul would pick up on that detail. And that's what you did. As soon as I saw that door was closed, I knew that was where you were hiding. Going off of what I said before, if you want to give a slasher a real run for their money, run outside. We hate that. It kind of takes the fun out of it for us. Staying inside the house, we thrive on that though. Tight hallways, close quarters. I'm holding a weed whacker for crying out loud. You're much better off putting some distance between us. Now, being honest, just because you head outside doesn't mean you've automatically escaped. I shouldn't really be telling you this, but we're really, really good at moving quickly when nobody's watching us. I know, I look big and I walk slowly when you're staring at me, but then the second you turn around, I promise I am sprinting after you. I mean, how else am I supposed to catch you, right? That Voorhees guy I can teleport, lucky son of a gun, he makes it look so easy. Some of us actually have to put an effort into our hunts. I digress. But what I'm basically saying is, you've got to be smart in the line of work. You've got to be smart in this line of work. Try and think like the killer. Just like how I try and think like a victim. Other than that, though, did a pretty decent job. Especially for your first time being hunted. I can see sequel potential in you. Though, we do lack a connected backstory, which is a bummer. I don't know, maybe they'll wreck on it, or whatever the kids are calling it nowadays. Oh, yeah, you're totally free to go. I've I made my points. You listen beautifully, so... Go. Be free. The world is yours. <laughs> Appreciate life whenever you have it, because once it's gone, it's gone. Oh, and sorry for killing your friends. It wasn't personal, though, if I'm being honest, they were pretty terrible people. <laughs> While I was scoping the camp out earlier, planning my attack, how to jump scare people and stuff, I saw some stuff that really, well, it really grinds my gears what they were doing behind your back. Your love interest? I forget their name. You stop keeping track a few sequels in. They were cheating on you behind your back, you know? With, a uh, the hot one. Yeah, I, I don't know their name either. And the stuff they said about you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a mass murderer, and I was appalled. Usually this is just a job, my nine to five, but gotta say I got a bit of enjoyment out of putting them down. Double in payment with a spear. A much cooler death than they deserved. I mean, I see a lot of people in this line of work, and I think I'm a pretty good judge of character. I have to be really, uh, well... Anyway, I know people. And you? You seem alright. Better than the people you were hanging out with. If anything, I've done you a favour. You can find better friends now. Genuinely, I would happily stalk you again. You were very pleasant to be around. I mean, if anything, you're kind of lucky they cheated on you. Having sex? Big no-no. 
let's just say I wouldn't be allowed to let you go if you'd done the deed, so to speak. But anyway, it's time for you to leave, Scamp. Go on, get out of here, be happy. Hope to see you again someday. Though, I'm certain you probably don't. <sighs> <sighs> Look at them go. Not a nice survivor. I killed all their friends and they took all my feedback without even a hint of whining. Sad how rare that is nowadays. <sighs> it's too bad they couldn't hear me through the mask. This thing's on so tight I can barely move my lips. Oh well, I'm sure they got the message. 